Okay, so this today here is the song Most High, the version done by Hillsong United. Okay, uh, there's another one that's done by Hillsong Live, just the kind of the adult church version or whatever, but this is the one done by them. So first thing we're going to look at here, we're going to look at the capo is on the second fret. So it's going to look like it's done with with E chords, key, so our chords in the key of E, but we're actually doing it in the key of F sharp. Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna call it as as if this was our nut right here. So we've got E, the E position. Okay, you've got your your second finger on the second fret of the A string, third finger on the second fret of the D string, and your first finger on the first fret of the G string. Okay, then you've got B sus. This is kind of like a power chord, but you're letting you're letting these two strings up. So it's you have your first finger on the second fret of the A string, your second the sorry third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and your fourth finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Okay, this is B sus. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this position. This position is gonna be foundational to most of the song. You're gonna slide it up two frets. This is C sharp minor seventh. And then you're gonna take this first finger off and slide this down four frets, A2. So with B sus, C sharp minor seventh, and A2, our goal is to either block or not play the, um, the low E string, okay? Then we've got this, um, this other thing, and technically it's not a chord, we're just gonna call it a chord for the sake of it, but um, it's called E5. Okay, so it's exactly like all of these other ones, B sus, C sharp minor seventh. If you go to C sharp minor seventh, you're actually just gonna go up three frets, okay? So your first finger should be on the seventh fret, seventh fret, of course, uh, seventh fret away from the, uh, the capo, okay? And just to, just, out of, just to note, it should have a dot, okay? Your first finger should should be on a, a fret with a dot. Okay, from there, this is E5. You're gonna stick your finger on the fret before your baby finger on that same string, and you're gonna lift these two fingers up one string each. This is B over E, and we are gonna play all six strings. And then we're gonna slide this down two frets, that's A over E, and then back to B over E, okay? Now that repeats a whole bunch of times, um, including when we first get in the, the verse. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a C sharp minor seventh. So this is the the ninth fret. We're gonna stick our first finger on the, the, uh, the low E string, ninth fret, second finger, Oh, and the first finger needs to block the A string as well, okay? The second finger is gonna go on the ninth fret for, um, for the, of the G string, and the baby finger is gonna go on the 11th fret of the D string, like that. And going to B at 11, we're gonna shift our first finger down to and we're gonna keep our keep these two fingers. Remember when there was B over E? It, they were like this. The only thing between B over E and B at 11 is our first finger is now gonna be on the top. And then E add nine, we just shift that whole position down two frets and then like that, okay? And then back to E over, or E5, B over E, A over E, E over E. Now, let's, uh, the, the verse two basically is the same as verse one, okay? 
So let's uh, let's depart and go into the pre-chorus. We've got B sus, C sharp minor seven, and then A two for two bars. Okay, and that repeats. Um, then we've got the chorus. B B sus, C sharp minor seven, A two. Okay, and that's fine. But then we come to a halftime feel. So here's how the halftime feel goes. Sorry, that my bad. So that's, that's how it sounds with the chorus. And pretty much from there, you've got um, everything else is the same. We have halftime feels, we have full-time feels. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do now um, for you is I'm going to play the entire thing for you um, right from the top, okay? And so this is um, this is going to be the uh, and what I'll do is I'll I'll tell you when when uh, when intro one intro two the different sections are going to come in and uh, and so that you will know I just have to I had to print off the the version on it, on my printer here um, and. Okay, so here, here is the whole, um, the whole song for you, okay? The strumming pattern, by the way, for the normal part of the song, the non-half time, should be down, up, and then, or should be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But put an accent or a heavier strum on beats two and four. One and two and three and four. Okay, so here's how it goes. This is intro one. And of course it repeats the four, four measures. Intro two. Thank you. 
something light here if you want. <laughs> 